Hi, my name is Brian from Denmark, your tech friend, and this is the best refurbished phones to buy in 2023, Spring Edition. And what I mean by that is I will be doing the same title in the fall, of course, looking back on some phones that are good purchases at that time. So please do subscribe if you don't want to miss that. But before we get to the phones, let me lay down some guidelines for you to make sure you make a qualified buy. Refurbished phones can be bought either online or at a store, and I urge you to buy them in a physical refurb store rather than online, because then you can take the product into your own hands and make sure how it feels and if you like it or not. A phone has got to speak to you, and I made an entire video about that very topic right up here. Another advantage that refurbished phones have over secondhand phones is that they typically come with a 3 to 12 months warranty from the store. If you buy a normal secondhand phone, you're at your own peril. So get in the store and get a feel for the phone. A feel for you. Ah, I think I love you. As a phone reviewer, I've bought lots of secondhand phones. And a thing that is particularly hard to recognize is the screens wear and tear. Does it feel worn? Does it attract fingerprints easily? If so, then it's too worn. Find another. And you can't tell that from pictures of a phone online. Look carefully at the phone you want for what state it is in. Check the charger port. If you do some snapping and video recording at the same time, you'll also be able to tell how the mic sounds because of course that could have taken damage from a drop in the bathtub. Now, what refurbished phones should you buy? Speaking here from the spring of 2023. A rule of thumb is a one to two year old phone. Because phones older than two years typically have that worn feeling to them or they don't receive software updates anymore. So just steer clear of them. So we're looking at phones released basically in 2021. And a must here in 2023 is that they will still receive Android and security updates or iOS updates. So here are my top five refurbished recommendations for the spring of 2023. Phone number five, Sony Xperia 1 and 5 Mark III's. These were Sony flagship phones from 2021 and can be found greatly discounted because Sony phones don't retain their prices as well as iPhones and Samsung. If you want to learn more about the Sony Xperia 1 Mark III, I've made an entire video about it versus the iPhone 13 Pro Max and you can watch it right up here. Phone number four is the Samsung A52 and A52S. This is the successor to them, the A53. But both phones are great value. And I recommend both these phones for the first from the Samsung A series that I could actually recommend as a phone reviewer. If you want to watch a comparison with that phone, just watch it right up here. Phone number three. The Samsung Galaxy S21 and S21 Plus. This is the Special Olympic Edition, but the ordinary ones are just as great. Shaka Samsung, let me tell you how I feel. They are premium and still great phones. If you want to watch a camera comparison of this one and the iPhone 12, you can watch it right up here. Phone number two. Are any iPhone 12 or iPhone 13? Those are sure buys. I really can't recommend any of their predecessors because now battery lifetime is gonna be a problem. This is the XR. That is, of course, if they're still with the original battery inside of them. They could have been changed, but you got to learn about your iPhone's battery health before you buy an older model. I would say anything above 90% there, then you're good to go also with these older models. But I really won't recommend them because also build quality is not gonna be as great as on the iPhone 12 and 13. And the reason why the iPhones do not hold the top spot on this list is because of the pricing. They are very expensive, even in the refurb store. Before we get to number one, I also just want to do some honorable mentions. The Google Pixel 6, this is the 6a, but the Google Pixel 6, the OnePlus 9, not the Pro model because that just burned through the battery like hell. The Xiaomi Mi 11, all from 2021, and they are good phones that still get software updates, but they are all just beaten 
also buy this phone. Phone number one, the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Still the best Android phone I've tried to this date. Well, perhaps until I open this box. But until I do, the Samsung S21 Ultra was the best phone I've ever tried. In my opinion, even better than the S22 Ultra. It had no weaknesses. Watch my short video about that phone right up here. Remember to subscribe to get more refurbished phones recommendations coming this fall. My name is Brian from Denmark, your tech friend, and I'll see you in the next one. My, 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 Delilah.